we know about uh, surface tension and uh, if we take a container in which there is a liquid, let us say this is the surface of the liquid, we have discussed the fact that the molecules which are there in the surface of the liquid possess more potential energy as compared to the molecules within the liquid and they try to attain a state of minimum potential energy and thereby they try to reduce the area and that is seen as surface tension. So as I mentioned, the molecules over here possess more potential energy and that potential energy which these molecules possess is also known as surface energy and surface energy is the molecules possessed by these, mo these molecules in the surface of the liquid and for the sake of definition we write that surface energy is equal to work done per unit area and what exactly is this we will be discussing shortly. So this is the background under which we will be looking at surface energy and try to see how exactly we define or understand surface energy. What we will do is we will take a simple example, we will say that uh, let us say we have a thin wire of particular shape of, layer, of C shape, is a very very thin wire and let us say we have another wire which is horizontal kept on this, let us say the length of this particular wire is L and this wire can slide onto this, let us say that is the situation, let us call this wire as A, B, C and this wire as uh, D, E for example. So the wire D, E can slide in this particular direction on this particular wire A, B, C. And let's say we dip this in a soap solution and let's say a film gets formed over here. Since this is an enclosed area with the help of this particular wires, a soap film will, get, uh, a film will get formed into this particular area. Now, because of surface tension, this particular film will try to pull this wire DE inside in this particular direction. And let's say for the sake of our discussion, let's say that because of that, this wire moves inside by a small distance delta x. Now if we do not want the wire to move in this particular direction, in other words if we want to overcome the force of surface tension what we may have to do is apply a force F in this particular direction so that we are able to overcome this force and the wire does not move and the wire remains over here. That means we will have to do work and this work which is done will be given by force into distance. Force is already known to us and the distance that we will the distance that comes into play because we are preventing this wire from going through distance delta x. So the work done would be F into delta x. Now we will have to identify the values for f and delta. delta x is already known to us, delta x is this distance, we will have to look at what f is or how we can obtain f. We already know that surface tension denoted by t is given by force per length. Therefore, the force of surface tension is equal to t into length. So for this force, which is related to surface tension, I can write surface tension of this particular material into the length. Now in this case the length is L as we said earlier, but the top part of this film is in contact with air. Similarly the bottom part is also in contact with air. So we will take 2L into delta X. And this work done this work being done against surface tension is stored in the form of energy. So this is surface energy is equal to T into 2L into delta X. Now 2L into delta X. 2L is the length, this particular length and delta X is this. So this is this is giving me change in area. So this I can write as delta capital A, change in area and this surface energy is equal to T into delta area. Therefore, this gives me the this gives me an equation for finding out surface energy. It is, is equal to surface tension of the film and to the change in area that happens because of the surf, because of the surface tension. This also helps me to define surface tension as surface energy per 
delta a and if delta a is equal to 1 that means delta is either 1 centimeter square or 1 millimeter square then the surface is equal to surface energy which I can denote by W because basically it is work done so surface energy can be denoted as W T into delta A so this helps me define surface tension it is the surface energy possessed by this surface when the change in area is unity and from this so from, from this I can get a unit for surface tension the unit of surface tension surface energy would be joule would be joule and area would be meter square so j by meter square is another unit of uh, surface tension so this is what surface energy means and this is how surface energy is connected to surface tension thank you